What is a waliullah, a saint of Allah? A waliullah is somebody that has been so sincere in his service of Allah that he has taken over all his affairs. He's taken over everything. He looks, looks after him for every small and big things. This leads to his reaching the stations of proximity. A station of proximity means that he becomes enlightened, which means that what controls him is the spirit and no longer the body or the psyche, no longer the nafs. And that means that Allah takes over his vision, his hearing, and his every movement. And he sees by the light of Allah, he hears by the light of Allah, and he moves by the light of Allah. And at that point, he stops being like us. He changes into something that we find difficulty in understanding, unless you keep company, close company, or one of those waliullahs for a long time, and then you begin to understand what sanctity is, and by extension, by a long extension, what a prophet's condition would look like to his companions. Now, um, a waliullah is somebody whom Allah has chosen to give him the great gift of knowledge the direct knowledge of contemplation, the knowledge of the uh, divine names and attributes which he sees directly without having to think about them or reflect mentally. This is beyond mental knowledge, beyond discursive knowledge, beyond learned knowledge. This is direct experiential knowledge which uh, no one will understand until they experience themselves. So what is the use of knowing this? The use of knowing this is that you, if you are one of those whose spirit yearns to know his, his God, his creator, then you need one of these awliyaullah to guide you because he's been through the, this uh, road, this path before, and thus can guide you. He can guide you in two ways. He can teach you by teaching and experience, that's one part of the thing. And the other thing is by the radiation of his light, to receive light from heart to heart, which is a secret, an invisible secret, that can be felt by those who receive it. And it is essential on the path of Allah to receive such a secret, because this is what admits you to the presence of the Prophet wasallam, and then from there to the presence of Allah. So that's what is called the spiritual master, or a murshid, a guide, uh, that is the qualifications of the people who are qualified to do this, which is to lead people into the presence of Rasulullah and from there to the presence of Allah Himself. They have to be awliyaullah, they have to have the inner eye, they have to be able to see inside you, they have to be able to diagnose your inward illnesses and to cure them. Um, otherwise, they're not qualified spiritual masters, they cannot be shiyukh or guides.